Hi there, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome, welcome. We're here with your reading. This is your August 1st to the 15th of the month reading. We're going to pull a card for each day. We're going to see how the energies move through in a sort of cyclical fashion. Um, Gemini, get ready. I'm hearing the wave is a big one this time. Now, it's interesting because what I'm seeing right off the bat, Gemini, I'm hearing Taurus here, is that this is a space, possibly, maybe even like psychologically, that you've been like waiting for, okay, but that you know, when, you, when it comes to this point of actually participating in whatever this experience in is, it gets kind of surreal to you. And it makes you realize like, whoa, just how big of a shift it is, just how surreal it is of a, of a, of a, of a storyline that you feel uh, is now is now becoming more like reality. Like, whoa, I wrote the script and here we are. Like, here it comes, like the big reveal I'm hearing as well. So let's jump into it. And uh, this is for number one, some of you been testing, programming, I'm hearing that as well, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Let's pull the cards here. Dear Gemini, let's see here what comes through and then we'll jump into the extended. We'll take a look further at uh, the 15th to the 31st of the month and I'm hearing zero, 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 zero eyes uh, starting to start. I'm here because I started back at one. All right. Somebody here is possibly um, starting a show. I'm here, a TV show here with the death card. I'm here, a reality show even I'm here with the death card. Ten of Wands with Father Pentacles. Let's see here. Make sure we have all the cards out. We have one card here on the floor. Yeah, all right. Gemini, I'm hearing. Get refreshed. I'm hearing, get ready. Do what you need to because this is going to be a really, a really, really loud buzz at the door. The six of cups. I'm hearing here they are. I'm hearing and they're bringing their whole family with them. Double here as well. It could be on a, on a, on a. Gemini about that um the phone cut I was hearing the right here I'm hearing Virgo now for number someone's getting ready to to clarify something I'm hearing that as well and it could be you kind of like wanting to clear your mind like before I really brand this I want to make sure I'm like understanding where we're going with the whole story I'm hearing that as well the father wanted to now for no reason something you've been preparing for reciting even yeah seeing repetition here with the six of cups and what we were saying that this could be on an energetic level right like somebody and i'm seeing the number 26 here somebody could like have been you know they, they, there's a sense of like so, coming forward i'm hearing that and there's it could be on an energetic level there's a lot we could say from the past coming coming forth as well like when i come forward i'm hearing sort of my, my history my past and that's what we're sort of uh, bre breaking open i'm hearing the so-called um i'm hearing the uh, uh, I'm hearing uh, token space up, to tomb space up. Okay, yeah, now for number this took a lot to get to this point to say, hey, we're ready now. I'm hearing that as well with the Sun of Cups and the Devil, and man, has it been quite a ride here. I'm hearing it's been a real, real long cycle. Now, I don't know what that's alluding to. I'm hearing a uh, man again here with the Devil and the Father Wands. So, what is that? What does gender have to do with this? But it could be a factor here coming up for review for number review. Now, for number review, okay. Six of Cups, Sun of Cups, I'm hearing this is it. This is the final dance. I'm making it. I'm moving forward. And I'm seeing someone moving through. Like, they're walking down this aisle. It's so... They're, they're gaze. They're so focused. They're like, I cannot freak myself out. I cannot freak myself in as well. <laughs> Too deeply into what I'm doing. I have to be just perfectly, perfectly. I'm hearing meditative. I'm hearing in, in, in my stance, in my approach. It's clear. Someone's a vibrate. This is a, a vibrational um, focus. I'm hearing and value as they see it. They're like, it's important that I, re that I remain... I'm hearing also like um, interested but disinterested. I'm hearing that as well. The Sun of Cups, like balanced. I'm hearing that ultimately. I'm not seeing it in the way of like, oh, I gotta play hard to get. I'm seeing it more in the way of, you know, I don't want to get too 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 psyched out about this space. I don't want to get too caught up, and I also don't want to give off the impression or or to feel. Actually, it's not really about an impression. It's more so about a f space of expression and wanting that to be something that is that is honest. I'm hearing that ultimately. So the Two of Cups in reverse, like for example, not wanting to behave in a way where it's like I'm compensating for my nervousness by acting, you know, kind of like not interested. I'm hearing that it's in that way. So maybe for this could be both ways. <sighs> Who knows, right? We're all here, sort of a play in every reading. Two of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands of Right. Now, for a number of you, I'm hearing this is something that someone seriously has been so nervous. Not for everyone, but yes, it's the fool. I'm not saying nervous in terms of like, oh my, I'm hearing cold feet, then hot feet, cold feet, hot feet. This is more like it's um, a risk, actually. It's a huge event I'm hearing possibly for a number of you. It's something that, you know, you proclaim in front of a huge group of people. I'm hearing that huge, huge audience. Three Pentacles and the Fool. And at the end of that day, you don't really know for certain who will still be in the audience. 
you know, kind of, uh, I'm hearing uh, shake, shaking, shaking, shaking your hand, and those of your uh, fellow, fellow, uh, I'm hearing fellow, um, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing uh, um, colleagues, I'm hearing that, uh, one second, I'm hearing mates, nine of pentacles, like, this might, whatever this is, it may kind of play a role even in society that you feel like, well, I don't know how people would really like react, but you know, it's about what I want to make of this experience. So now we lead out with the father of wands. I'm seeing a procession of some kind. Everyone has their eye on you. The father of wands, like they're turning, even the son, it's not even the son of cups, even the devil. It's almost like a carpet has been laid out here. And, uh, you know, the son of cups is just sort of making, making their way through. And it's funny because the six of cups speaks of water as does the son of cups. So this is something someone's recited. They've prepared. Now, it's in front of their family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crazy, crazy pressure on the heart chakra. Daughter cups in your birth. Someone's like, I have to say it. I have to do it. It's time. Now is the day. I'm hearing now is the uh, now is the number. It's something even someone has prepared for. I'm hearing from an astrological vantage point. They're like, okay, it's the 7th. And it's 2007. I'm hearing that as well. It's it, it's been seven years. I'm here since then as well. I don't know what that is. I mean, they're calculating something. Let's clear it. They feel like it's divine timing. I'm hearing that as well. The father wants look at, leading out. Now, yeah, right there, the star. Oh, absolutely. Ace of Swords. Look at that. Right over the Sun of Cups. So take a look at these cards. Really interesting because we see this beautiful sort of hue of, 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 a, of a rainbow of, uh, of colors in the chalice. I'm hearing rainbow hue of, uh, of emotion, ultimately. Like, And when I think about the rainbow, right, it's kind of honest. It's the honest on a spectrum of, of what can be and not containing that really. And we see that right, in the space of magic ultimately with the star. So I'm gonna use the swords. So somebody may be coming through with something. They're saying, hey, I'm, you know, I'm also willing to show you that this is something not within my normal everyday sort of, you know, guys. I'm hearing that as well, the empress, like they're really going down. Oh, baby. <laughs> on one knee, maybe two, <laughs> maybe three, four. Maybe they have uh, a line of people. I'm here going down on one knee in front of someone here with a chariot. This is something that has really, has been long awaited. Father Cups. And it can be in their mind, right? It's like, well, I say this one thing to this person that I've been waiting to say. And to me, in my mind's eye, that's like all of my thoughts in surrender mode to this one part in the storyline. And, you know, I have to kind of tell my mind to sort of take a hike at that point. And, and I, I just have to show up. I'm hearing. And, and at that point, I don't even know really who I, um, you know, I, 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 I say I am. Because in that moment, I'm just busy feeling. I'm hearing that. One with the moment, the four of wands. So, Sorry about that again, Gemini. I'm hearing Virgo here once more. There could be a technical thing <laughs> going on off here around this time. I don't know why. Maybe every now and then you have to like you have to tune in to your to your tech advisor. I don't know. I'm hearing Cord Cordy Cord Cordy. Anyways, uh, for another review, it's like something with a with a mic thing. Um, but it's like I was going to say that there is a really strong emphasis on expression. And at a certain point, though, it's not really about making, I'm hearing, I'm making an impression, but it's more the feeling space of like, okay, yes, I'm the performer, and I'm seeing it as the son of cops who lead the trail out. However, it is not only, I'm hearing, it's so much more, I'm hearing, than just my performance. It's our connection. And when I am sort of so-called on stage, it's that moment of feeling one with the so-called audience and what they are experiencing, not by way of my script. I'm hearing, I say this then, then they'll feel that, then they'll do that, and then I'll respond and I'll react. It's like the reactions are timeless, I'm hearing, actually. It's a space in which we recall the desire to have even embarked upon this journey to begin with. That is the point of ascension. I'm hearing culmination and ultimately, reflection i'm hearing that with the mother of cups the reinvention of this emotion that we feel now for a number of you um someone's having a little bit of a hard time with that the emperor possibly and i don't know if maybe this is during the procession or is before or, if it, or it's years before maybe what has led to this point it's like to say in a way that you know whatever this is maybe feels like a really big deal in relation to you know their conventions it can be religiously in their culture. Like, no one would ever do this type of thing. I'm hearing that specifically, but Father shows in reverse, Son of Cups have right. Father wants to pray. I'm hearing, I love you. I'm hearing that specifically. And, um, you know, it could also be the type of thing. It feels some pressure on the right side of the heart chakra. It's like, I'm doing this for me. I'm hearing that as well. And uh, so it's a big deal. Maybe even in relation to this person, they're, they're, I'm hearing it's their culture again, but also their character. Like, maybe whatever this is is really sort of out of character for this person in some way. So they're kind of maybe even 
they're shocking them, themselves out of their own shirt. <laughs> I'm here with their own tie and how they the so-called hat, you know, had tailored it maybe even in the past. And, you know, there's a big turnaround here. Mother wants reverse. And um, I'm hearing they feel really, 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 they feel really weird, but also really, really intentional in that moment of being weird, of being one with their, also their, their feeling. I'm hearing, I'm hearing their family. I'm hearing their, their, fa it's interesting because I'm seeing their family as observing who they really are. And that's something that almost in that moment is like, feels really uncomfortable, but then it just inverts and it feels actually electric. I'm hearing that with the Son of Cups leading out. Where is it that I live for me? And I am that role model. I play that role and I say, hey, this is my party. It's called my life and I will live it in the way that it feels right for me, that I feel right in it. And so, you know, it's interesting because it could be something scripted, but at the end of the day, I'm here, it's a personal story and we have our personal values that we want to sort of, you know, portray in that space and, and lead out loud. So thank you for tuning in. I'm light to you and I'm hearing out loud, but it can be even, let's say, the sheer fact of I'm here wanting to get to know someone that for someone is a big deal. It's like the fact that I'm even reaching out to you in this way is making hopefully obvious <laughs> that 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 I care I'm hearing m about more than I'm hearing also just m you know my 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 I'm hearing my 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 image I'm hearing my 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 needs I'm hearing financially I'm hearing that as well so yeah we can say it's like really a point where someone's like let's say vulnerable they're so it's it, they're, they're they're also um yeah, I'm hearing they're they're experiencing I'm hearing they are <sighs> expressing they are alleviating their passion thank you for tuning in Gemini. i was taking as well and i'll see you in the extended we'll say these energies